Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill, this is Chris, and this is Matt. Yeah. I'm not going to butcher his last name today. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, you deserve a uh, gold star on your little chart. <laughs> All right, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can uh, get all your hockey apparel, figure skating apparel, referee apparel, goalie apparel, and your inline skating apparel. You can also visit them at. You can visit them at. HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com, or you can go to their store at. 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Or you, you can, can call, call them at. 414 <laughs> Okay, so if you notice, we're all in a joking, laughing, ha ha mood. Oh, yes. Yep, it oh was boy. a good day. It was a good day for the Nashville Predators. Yep, against the New York Islanders. Good day, good, good goals. A lot even, of good goals. Even better that they won on home ice. Yeah, oh, boy, and they get two points to help them out in the playoff standings, which is a plus. Yep, because now they uh, they ascend over the Minnesota Wild, and they're yep. now under Winnipeg. Yeah. Yeah, so. and they're three points out. Yeah, so it's not impossible, nope. but it's going to get interesting toward the end of the year. So where the only message you have right now in, to this team is, do more of this. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah, this, this all the time. time. Because if, when Ryan Ellis comes back to this team and they're still performing like this, whew, somebody is going to lose their job. <laughs> and it's already not, did because of this I team. was referring to one GM. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was surprised they didn't let him go, but instead they fired the coach. Then again, if the coaches, you, I, I've said this on the videos a couple times about Laviolette. He was told to fire the assistant coach. He did not do so. So you disobeyed uh, the owner. So you lose you disobeyed the owner and the GM. So you're gone. Yeah. Yep. He would have had his job had he not been loyal to his assistant coach, which kind of happens these days. Yep. This game was a fairly clean game. I mean, the Predators literally had no power play opportunities, but the Islanders were 0 for 2. Yeah. That's like the only stat that kind of sticks out to me. I didn't realize the Predators had no power plays tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, had a fight, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, There was a, that's where that nine penalty minutes comes from. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Watson had a fight, but let's talk about this game a little bit. Oh. I mean, All right, let's get into the goals. Uh-huh. Scoring the first goal of the game was Craig Smith, unassisted. His 14th, scoring the second goal of the game, Craig Smith. His 15th with an assist from Rocco Grimaldi, his 18th, and Nick Benito, his 16th. 16. All right, I'm going to try and get this trending, but I call Rocco Grimaldi the Italian Grim Reaper. <laughs> good. But it is what it is. Um, and then... We also have Matias Ekholm scoring his seventh with an assist from Yarny, uh, Callie Yarn Crock his seventeenth, uh, and Austin Watson his eighth. Then, as I said, the Italian Grim Reaper, Reaper with his tenth, unassisted, and then with the hat trick, Craig Smith his sixteenth with an assist from point leader Robin Yossi his forty second. So yeah, uh, hat trick, buddy. Woo. Oh God! <laughs> Watch oh, there out! Goes the, there went the camera. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! <laughs> ah, yeah, everybody. I wasn't trying to aim it that far. I was trying to avoid hitting Dan in the head. Throw it over there. <laughs> I wanted to give the impression that we were going. Here. Ooh. Oh. But yeah, oh, that was also hey, that was <laughs> a stick, hey, that was a stick tap moment because that was Craig Smith's yeah, first clear NHL hat trick. Uh, yeah. All right. I hope they heard the stick tap. <laughs> well, they or they the imaginary. <laughs> yeah, stick taps, buddy. Stick taps. There you go. All right. Yeah, that was his first career hat trick. All right. So now that we've hit the camera with a hat, <laughs> <laughs> the camera got a hat trick. Yes, uh, it did a hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was the scoring in the game. What else? What else do we gotta talk about, Dan? We got goaltenders. We got yeah. goaltenders. Yes. In so this game, the Islanders did it, but we did. All right. So starting the game was Thomas Thomas Grice. He stopped five of eight with a point six two five save percentage. Ow. And then we had Simeon Varlamov, former Colorado Avalanche and former Washington 
Capital, and I think he played a couple other places. Um, but he had a .889 save percentage and stopped 16 of 18. Couple of sieves tonight. Oof. Would you care to elaborate what a sieve is? A uh, sieve is a, an object with many holes in it that usually is to strain, usually like a liquid or something out of an object. So, uh, yeah, these guys were pure Swiss cheese. Yeah. Uh, we call it uh, in Milwaukee a sieve goaltender is basically someone uh, who... Uh, a goalie that sucks. He lets the puck go by. Yes, he is a great mm -hmm. big sieve. Don't right. just do the whole chain. Yes. <laughs> anyway, in net for you for the Nashville Predators was UC Soros with 31 saves on 31 shots with a perfect save percentage. Way to go, His you second shutout two. in seven games. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stick taps to you, buddy. Way to go, Use. Um, he's been playing really well. Uh, did you get the yarn croak uh, thing out there? Nope. Uh, oh, by the way, in this yeah. game as well, uh, Cali yarn croak scored or got his 100th assist career beautiful assist. Too. Yeah. So this game was filled with highlights. All right. So referees in the game were John McIsaac and Frederick Lacour. Um, after this game, they may have to go meet up with Frederick, uh, the Islanders, for some Lacour. <laughs> um, and the linesmen were Derek Nansen and David Brisbois, which is at, David Brisbois used to be a goon in the AHL. That's, that's, it's like pot, we call it, was it the pot calling the kettle black almost. All right, so head coach for the New York Islanders is longest head coach in Nashville Predators history, Barry Trotz. Um, and the head coach currently is John Hines for the Nashville Predators. Uh, scratches for the New York Islanders is Tom Kunakel, uh, Ross Johnston, and the other Sebastian Aho. <laughs> That's like there's two Sebastian Ahos? Yes. Mm, seriously? Yes. Wow, double gangers, watch out. Holy crap, you're right. Wait, why is there two? I don't know. I don't know. I don't Cloning. even know if they're related. Cloning in the AHL, everybody. And, this, and Aho is spelled the same NHL, for the one in Carolina, now the one in New York. And the one in Carolina is still there, because we would have spotted his name on the transaction list. All right, scratches for Nashville also included uh, Colin Blackwell and Matt Irwin. Good God, thank you, Irwin. Come on, Blackwell. Get your crap together. Andy misses watching. Could we potentially be seeing a Colin Blackwell send down? Potentially, depending on how well Tolvin keeps playing. Yeah, I think that that's the one thing I'm watching right now is between him and uh, who's our other. Uh, uh, Novak to get an NHL that, deal. Yeah. Novak with like Novak alone just for his assist work. All right. So, up next for the Predators is the St. Louis Blues. Their top five point getters are David Perron with 57 games played, 23 goals, 32 assists. For 55 points, he is averaging just under a point per game. Yeah, that's fun. Um, we have Ryan O'Reilly, former Buffalo Sabre, uh, also former Colorado Avalanche. He has 10 goals, 41 assists for 51 points. Uh, watch out for him. Uh, if he has the puck, go cover somebody else because <laughs> he's going to give it to somebody else. Um, uh, we got Brady Shen with 20 goals, 26 assists with 46 points, but the minus 11. Ouch. Uh, then we got Alex Petrangelo, who it is a contract year for. Uh, 13 goals, 33 assists for 46 points and a plus 8. Then we, uh, their last, and la last but not least... Uh, Jaden Schwartz scored his 17th, or has 17, with, an ass, with 27 assists with 44 points and a minus 12. Uh, the other upside note, uh, other note for St. Louis, uh, today, Zach Sanford scored four goals against the Vegas Golden Knights. However, the Blues still fell. Mm -hmm. How do you score four Six, goals and still lose? 6-5 overtime to Vegas? Yes. Yeah. All right, their goaltenders are uh, Jordan Bingington. He has uh, 41 games played, 41 games started. He has 24 wins, 10 losses, and 7 overtime losses with a 2.474 goals against average, one shutout, and a .909 save percentage. Right now, he is slumping. He has lost his last four games. Ooh. 
Um, then we have Jake Allen, who's actually been on the upside lately. Um, he has he got a shutout the other day for them. Um, he has 19 games played, 16 starts, 8 wins, 5 losses, 3 overtime losses, with a .925 save percentage and a 2.26 goals against average with one shutout. Yeah, we remember Jake Allen from his uh, short time with uh, Peoria Riverman. Peoria Riverman, and he did uh, some with uh, the Chicago Wolves with that short little stint. All right, so with that being said, I'm sorry, Anaheim, um, you lost six <laughs> to zero. Uh, Vegas beat St. Louis six to five in overtime. Uh, this is just around the league. I'm gonna give you some scores. Uh, Buffalo beat uh, Columbus four to three in overtime. Uh, Dallas beat Toronto three to two. Tampa Bay beat the Edmonton Oilers three to one. Uh, Philadelphia beat Florida 6-2. New Jersey Devils beat the Detroit Red Wings 4-1. Ottawa Senators beat the Arizona Coyotes 3-2. Um, the Nashville Predators, as you just heard from us, won 5-0. Uh, the Washington Capitals beat the uh, Colorado Avalanche 3-2. And the New York Rangers beat the Minnesota Wild in a shootout 4-3. So with that being said, on the docket in the Central Division tomorrow, we have San Jose versus Winnipeg. Kind of a big game to be paying attention to yes. tomorrow. Yep. Um, just as far as what Winnipeg does, because if they fall to San Jose... It gives an opportunity to jump. Yep, that gives us an opportunity on Saturday to jump over them. And uh, that game is going to be on NBC Sports, so that's something that gives you an opportunity to watch if you do have NBC Sports. Or if you're in the Canada area, you can watch them on TSN 3. Way better. <laughs> Just say I love TSN. Sorry. Yeah. Um, then um, there. don't forget that Sunday is Hockey Day in America. Yay. Um, so wear your hockey jerseys probably. Yes, absolutely. Um, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Anybody have some thoughts for this game? Um, Anybody do have more a... of it. Remember what I said earlier? Do this again. Do it again. I mean, do you have any thoughts? We pretty much watched the whole game outside yeah, of much. you have to Nothing move. Really to this, this, is, there is pr this is just definitive proof that they do have talent on this team. They, they're, they're, there is something here. It's just things are not clicking probably with the coaching aspect of it, but something tonight worked. And the other part of it, when you show up and play for your goalie, Here's the thing, yes, if you could get it to where they just say, okay, Saros is the starter, Pekka, you're backing up, then just show up for when Pex plays. Because, mm -hmm. again, Pex, Pex can't do it all on his own. He can't. He so, have to be there. And we're going to see him at some point this weekend because it's a back-to-back. -back. Yeah. So. He can't be the goalie that does everything. And today was a, def, a definitive team effort. There were guys on Saros to make sure that he wasn't getting overwhelmed by... Like, there were several opportunities where the Islanders could have at least scored one goal on Saros. There was... Um, just so I could take a look real quick. The Predators had 19 block shots. Yeah. Yeah, the Islanders out-blocked them, but... Only by two blocks, but still. Blocks tell you that... Keep, tell your goal and, and the other stat I look at is right here. Keep that below 10. Mm -hmm. Keep the giveaways below 10. Keep your blocks around above 15. And and keep your penalty minutes under 20 minutes. And, and, and play a little more physical. And you'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. Preds fans, there's no re reason to smash that panic button just yet. Nope. No reason to tear up jerseys or throw hats. Unless if it's for hat tricks. There's no reason to throw hats. Uh... Huh. Their opportunities are still alive here, guys. They are. Yeah. Um. They they can pretty much run this to the deadline to figure out what they want to do. Mm hmm So, um, like this I is, said. This is also, like, not, not to interrupt, but uh, this is also another good thing to have before the deadline just to say we have this. This is what we have. This is a good game to have just moments before because well, the trade deadline is on the 24th. This gives a good glimpse of... Uh, 
what's really been hiding under all these losses, really. Because there is a good team under this. Under this, it's just get, you gotta. It needs to spark and click in the the way that it's been in the past seasons prior. I, I, if anything, they need help. They need another defenseman, mm-hmm. a solid, stable defenseman. But other than that, I would. If you could get was it Alec Martinez from the uh, from the Kings? Mm-hmm. He's a steady stay-at-home defenseman. You pair him up with maybe uh, was a uh, who's that? The OC. No Roman. Yep, you pair him up with Roman. You put Al- Alice back with Ekholm, and you put Fabro and Tenorti together, and you're good. It's a solid squad right there. And I think that sets you. Tenorti has earned his spot. He's made a couple mistakes, but he's... Yeah, that's, that's fresh. He's grown fresh pains. Kids. Yeah. So, um, you know, um, but they've all made mistakes this season, yeah. so... But uh, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. Like I said, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Yep. I'm Daniel. This is Chris. Ooh. And this is Matt. And we will see you guys Saturday. Yeah. Peace. Yeah.